Hello, hi, yeah, I'm Mandy, Mandy the Mystic Tarot. Right, I'm sat here watching Donald Trump doing a speech following his guilty verdict in the criminal hush money case. And you know what, he doesn't look that bothered. Or he doesn't sound that bothered. In actual fact, the readings I've done on him, um, I think the one I did about his mental health, he thinks that this is going to win him. He's going to either make money out of it or uh, get more votes. He'll go up in the polls. So I'm going to do a reading and I'm going to ask, how does Donald Trump really feel in the now? In the original ideal, original here and now of it. How does Donald Trump feel? Spirit guides, I call on my spirit guides to give me a clear answer with clarity. How is Donald Trump really feeling after his guilty verdict for 34 charges? Because it's his first offence, he might even not get a sentence. Um, there was falsifying business documents, so I don't think it's that serious, you know. I don't know, let's see what the cards say. How's he really feeling? Deep down inside, subconsciously, consciously, his spirit knows. So let's ask the cards. If you see here... Uh, like a dia diaphragm of the the um the spread I'm going to do, which is the Celtic cross. Okay. So in the middle goes the present and the self. Then we have the subconscious, the conscious, the past, future, the influence and power of this reading, external influences, hopes and fears, and the outcome. And then I just keep on turning from there. Uh, he's very emotional anyway. <laughs> he just dropped a card. It was the Ace of Cups. So he's feeling very emotional. Okay. Is he just putting on the front? How's he feeling? So, what does he think is going to happen next? Yeah, that's a good one. What does Donald Trump think is going to happen next? What does Donald Trump think is going to happen to him? Next, now. Okay. <clears throat> right. Excuse me. Right. Okay. I have got justice in reverse. He feels like he's getting his karmic retribution. <laughs> it's accountability for him. He thinks it's unfair. He wants to avoid his karma. He thinks it's corrupt, or he is corrupt. He thinks it's injustice. This is bad luck for him. He feels like it's disruption, unwelcome change. It's going to 
cause setbacks. That's what he really thinks. It's all a front for him. And he will know because he knows about the polls and everything. He knows it all. This is bad news. It's caused him money problems. He feels unappreciated. He feels like he's not been appreciated. He makes there may be light at the end of the tunnel and he'll be able to recover and let go of the negativity and stress. That's what he wants. That's how he feels like he wants it all to be over with. So in the past, I've got the Seven of Swords reversed. And he's feel, this is like in the past, he's, this shock has made him like feel like he wants to turn over a new leaf. He feels like confessing and coming clean. And his conscience is kicking in. There's disharmony around new trust issues, imbalance and conflict. I've got the lovers in reverse. That might be at home with Melania. There's lack of accountability. He won't, he, you know, he's not going to be held accountable. And there's detachment around him. He's lonely and paranoid. He's withdrawing. He's being antisocial and paralyzed with fear. Paralyzed with fear. He's got no enthusiasm. No enthusiasm now. If you know. No enthusiasm for anything. Now I've got the um, Empress. A lot of people you say this card is like Russia, but this is in his hopes and fears. See, he wants healing. He just wants harmony and healing. I think he just wants a second chance to stay at home and, you know, in his home comforts. He's fearful. He knows he's got no direction now. He feels like he's got no self-control and no, he's powerless. You know, and he's blocked by these obstacles that are being put in his way. He's very emotional about this. Very emotional. There's like an outpouring of emotion. He's unhappy at home. His family life is dysfunctional and broken. He's feeling insecure. He wants to make an offer and a creative expression or offer where he can offer something that will, you know, I think he realises that he needs to change the way he expresses himself. And he's got himself as a back up against the wall. He's battle weary. You know, and he needed to say, making his last stand with this speech that he was doing, that was making his last stand.
you know, it's an ongoing battle for him, you know. Yeah, he wants um he wants his family to be happy again. He just wants to go home. And his little community and you know. He feels defeated, he's been defeated. You know. Is he like self sabotaging himself? It's a crime. He's committed a crime. And he just needs to accept that. You know. There's no, he's had no success. There's no success. He's not achieved anything. He feels disappointed. Because he hasn't completed what he set out to complete. Uh, there's no completion. He feels insecure. I said that before. It was a shady investment. He knows this. He's lost his independence. Mm. He's vain, fickle. Someone around him who sacrifices themselves unnecessary for others. Yeah, lack he's lacking balance. He has to make financial decisions. He's bite. He's bit off more than he can chew, and he can't concentrate. And there's trouble coming, and it's going out out of the frying pan and into the fire. No progress. That's how he really feels. I'll have a last card. Yeah. He feels like he wants to impose his values on others. He still feels like he wants to impose his values on others. So has he learned his lesson? Is he learning his lesson? Lock him up. That's what I'd say. Abuse of power. He says he has no discipline. He knows he's going to be an absent father. I mean, Baron's 18 and he definitely needs his dad at that age. Boys do. Well, he'd probably be better off without him, to be honest. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's Trump, isn't it? So, yeah. It's just disharmony and disconnection and imbalance. Inequality and incompatibility all around him. At home. And Melania are unhappy. He has unpaid bills, money problems, debts. He's been selfish and stingy. You know, he's bit the hand that feeds him. That's Melania, because the first card, yeah. Incompatibility. Unhappy couples. Biting the hand that feeds you. Yeah. He thought he had lots of choices. 
and opportunities. You might see this as an opportunity if he goes to prison to get more votes because people, you know, at his base are like him. Like attracts like, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, it's sad that because um, a lot of people like him. He just wants balance and peace now, you know. He wants his nerves to calm down. And forgiveness, he wants forgiveness. He thinks time heals all wounds. He's feeling trapped and confined, you know, and there's limitations around him. He needs a release. There's a lesson to be learned. He's got to look at it from a unique viewpoint. He's going to give an apology, I think, to Melania. I think he's going to apologise. Unless he already has. You know, he needs to be sensible, sensitive and thoughtful. You know. Use his mind. Use his intuition. You know, he's in, he wants to... He wants her to tell him what she wants. A bit too late for that, isn't it? <laughs> when he comes down, he really thinks about it. He'll realise when he thinks and he goes over it in his head, everything. He'll realise. You know, that he did it to himself. And he'll have insight, spiritual insight. This is a little bit too late, isn't it? Because it's not going to be very good. It's not going to be in a very nice place for it to happen. What can you do with it? If you're locked up, nothing. He's got secrets. And with the secrets that he knows, it makes him feel a little bit more powerful. Like he, he can uh, regain his composure. And uh, mm. Yeah, he's fear of moving on. It's all about fear and stagnation. And he has to accept it. Accept his lot now. That's only what he's thinking. And he wants to just let go of everything. Let's shed, let's shed, his, shed the old. He's been broken down. And he'll just get go the lot of it. He's going to lose it all. He feels poverty. He says he thinks he's been given bad advice. And this is about alcoholics and addictions and the person who only looks out for himself, which is Donald Trump. There's gossip around him, malicious lies, this is what he thinks. Everyone's bias. It's causing him misery. And he's the kind of person that puts people down and can't be trusted.
This is an overload for him. An overload of responsibilities. Weight on his shoulders. You know. Yeah. It's a bit of a struggle for him now. And it's like something he has to do, but it's an obligation he needs to take care of because it's, you know, looks like he's going to need to be in the air president to pardon himself. You know, if he does go to prison, he does become president, he can pardon himself and get out. I think that's how it works. I don't know, you have to Google it. But this is really a burden for him. It's like too much. But he does think that it might bring him in some extra money, extra votes. You know? It'd be more favourable with it, you know, with his base. They'll feel more sorry for him. You know, donate money to him. You know, free Trump sort of thing. <laughs> then he knows he's got responsibilities as well. You know, if he wants to keep hold of his money, and he's he's got these responsibilities he needs to take care of. All these fines that are just going up and up and up and up and up. If he if he doesn't pay him, so his dreams are shattered. He's having nightmares. He's feeling devastated, and this is really feeling. It's like it don't feel like it's fulfilling him anymore. He doesn't feel fulfilled. He's felt fulfilled, always felt fulfilled. For once in his life, he's had, had it taken away. You know, and he's been held accountable. And that's where he is now. Yeah. And the nine of cups upside down. It's shattered dreams. His dreams have been shattered. He's so unhappy, he's devastated. So there you are. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Especially when you disrespect women. Like you disrespected Stormy Daniels. Eh? And what's happened? She's got her power back. Now she's got her power back. She can get on with her life. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, wow! Only in America. <laughs> this is man. Anyway, good luck, USA. That's what I've got for you today. That's how he's really feeling, behind the mask, behind the exterior. That's how he's really feeling. Okay. So until next time, bye-bye. Give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, share, leave a comment. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.